those passport cards. Did right. you do those right, by the way? Yep. That's why I died. Because I, you know, there's a tiny bit of signature outside the box. Because when I, you know, I, I never signed the other name. Mm-hmm. So I assume, you know, I was like, I assume you guys are going to get set me up with a different name. Mm-hmm. Were you comfortable? Were you comfortable with a name? Uh, I have to practice signature pieces. Right. right. <laughs> but you I look like I'm a Russian of some kind. Well, you know, there, there's, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of Russian people out there. So is that some dead guy? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> why? I just wonder. Well, I wanted to work outside the U.S. Like I said, someplace like Singapore gets set up there a little, you know, and, and you know, I like the idea of, of an invisible identity. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about self or including your wife? Uh, self. She wrote yeah. too many questions. How do you explain it to your wife? What you're going to want to ask. I, I gotta figure out a way for me to go over there. Mm-hmm. Can you actually get me that that artificial name and stuff? Well, we're working, as I said, uh, we only done the passports. My understanding right. is, uh, my one of the questions that the center asked me to ask you was, uh, if, if you had a choice, which passport I mean, two that you buy for Israeli passports, would you prefer to use? If I'm just going straight there and straight back? You would go, you we would fly you first class from New York. for London. Okay. I mean, fourth would be New York, so I would go to New York. No, I wouldn't put you on that one. It had to be U.S. period. Uh, but you would fly to London, stay in London for a day or two, meet, meet you, call in the mine. Uh, I'd, 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 do it on the, I'd like to do it on the artificial name. So you would prefer the name we gave you, right? You, uh, okay. And you'd have to get me some gift cards under that name so I could pay the bills, unless all the hotels under those prepaid. That would be taken care of. Right. There's plenty of work to do. Oh, I know. Um, yeah. But like I said, I'm making a career choice. And that's the main thing I wanted to bounce off of you today, that this isn't just, you know, a few documents. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, the degree to which I had to, basically, what I had to give you, mm-hmm. I can never, ever tell anyone. All right. Well, I'm glad. No evidence. There can be no. I mean, it seems like we understand each other as far as because my primary concern to you was your commitment. And I like the name, the alias name, and I like the idea of setting up an alias. And I like as an escape route to have a place outside the country. Okay. But that means I also have to have money. I have to have, you know, the ability to. Well, let's talk about that. I mean, I know about I don't know, 20 more minutes. We can talk yeah. plus your car. Um, Motor fire. Um. So let's talk about the escape route. How do you, instead of me giving it to you, I mean, we have our ideas, but we also want to hear from you. What, how do you see, in case of being approached by U.S. authorities or anybody else, how do you see yourself acting? What would you do? Well, well nothing. Um, if I had to get out of the country, my... I mean, would you rather go out of the country or would you rather stay in the country? I'd rather really get out of the country. Okay. But I can't get out of the country in a way they can trace me, mm-hmm. which means I have to leave money here, and I have to, you know, I couldn't draw, you know, draw attention if I started to let's say liquidate assets and mm-hmm. move them offshore. Okay. Right. So I'd have to have, you have to have a, a kitty for me somewhere, um, you know, like Singapore. Okay. And I, I sort of like Singapore for some reason because yeah, I kind of start noticing that it's clean. It's not the screw up. They speak English there. I don't think they have much extradition with the U.S. But I'd have to get into a. High, what's the is, is, if I actually was physically in Israel? Do they act, would they give me up? Political game, right? Right. It depends who who would you step on the toe. Right. Or then I would have to uh, go the other places. Some places, like you said, like Eastern Europe, somewhere. Because I think those countries are pretty. So you would like. Let me see if I'm hearing you right. You'd like to at minimum go to a place where there's no extradition. That's a minimum. That's a good thing. Okay, right. And then the second thing would be the money. Right. I mean, money. I'm hoping uh, you will save some up. There'll be some ways. Uh, the center right now, the finish up the documents, want to come and see them. They'll talk to you about the other ways of routing, because which we've done thus far, we gave you some pocket money. Right. That's basically what it is. Right. We gave you some money. We want to see how you handle that. 
uh, we understand you more, which is fine. The problem is we need to think of ways of handling that more. Um, my understanding right now is the center is trying to set up some offshore, some kind of banking system where you would have access to travel overseas. Right. Is that, is that good? Yeah, it would have to be a new name. Okay, so new name, you want it to be under a new name. The name we gave you obviously would work. Right. Okay. Um, you'll have access to it. And instead of depositing money, it would any closer down here if you don't then. Yeah, do it offshore. Okay. And, and actually, you don't get into actual tax trouble until you try to repatriate it back in the U.S. So okay. if you get it outside the U.S. and spend it outside the U.S., okay. you know, it's like every other company. You know, um, and, and um, to get out of the U.S. in an emergency, you know, Dulles and all these places are watched. So taking a lesson from our friends, uh, Mohammed Atta, it might be easier to go out through Mexico or Canada. It'd be pretty, you know, it'd be easier to cop a plane to, say, Buffalo, mm -hmm. you know, drive over the bridge. bridge. But see, that's why you need to end up needing a credit card in a name, and see, then you end up needing a driver's license to rent a car. Okay. Right. Because you can't rent a car without a driver's license and a credit card. Now, you can pay cash when you return the car, but they won't rent you a car, usually without. And the same with hotels. Generally, every hotel you ever go into, you make a... And so I need an address, not just a name. I need an address. In U.S.? Uh, no, somewhere overseas. Okay. You know, and... Uh, a credit card number and a uh, driver's license. I don't know. Oh my God. So I'm going to the to the alternative aliases and all that stuff. I, I think you got to go there from the beginning. Okay. I think you know because they you know they the Homeland Security they'll see you going in and out. You know, no. scan the passport. The, the airlines will report and you know, some computer somewhere that it's going to pick up that I went there. Okay. And if I don't have supporting documentation as to why I was there, yeah. you know, they, they'd interview people over there, what was he doing there, uh, then you've got to, so it's got to be totally behind the green door. Okay. So, so, I think the last... Once, once you, like I said, I'm in this, you got to go all in. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to ask you, I mean, I started right now, I finished, the, uh, the legend, the, the new name person, um, do you think you can come up with your own story? Like, where's my family? Where's my children? Who you are? Who you are? Uh, no. So, is it something that you want to thought to? Yeah. Just, just to help you out with it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I'm a party to the crime, at least. I'll, I'll learn the script. Okay.